This video will focus on achieving resonance with balanced tall vowels. When singing it in a choral setting, you will often find your director has specific expectations for your vowel shapes. Most of the time, your director will be asking for tall vowels. You can get these vowels by creating space inside your mouth and letting the back of the roof of your mouth or your soft palate rise. However, some overachieving students will take this to an extreme and lose the resonance in their voice. You should be aware of this as you work on vowel shape. Your director may have different terms for resonance, including ping, point, spin, brightness, or forward placement. It is also possible to take resonance to an extreme place. Our goal is balance. The exercises in this video are chosen for their ability to help develop tall vowels for choral singing, while also accessing the forward resonance needed for beautiful sound and efficient tone production. First, we are going to talk about the long E vowel sound. It is useful for helping to develop resonance, but it can often be placed incorrectly. I am going to have my students demonstrate a spread E vowel sound and then demonstrate a forward and tall E vowel. Notice that the front of the mouth is not where we are creating space. Your molars should be apart while the front of your mouth has a smaller opening. This is called a closed vowel. Sometimes I think of having a funnel with the large part in the back of the mouth and coming to the small point at the lips. Try placing your fingers lightly on your cheekbones. When you are placing the E vowel correctly, you should feel a vibration as you speak the vowel. This vowel is a great one for kickstarting resonance in your sound. Here's an example. E Our next exercise alternates between the syllables we and o, moving in thirds downward. W is a great consonant to start the voice because it actually begins with the u vowel before you complete the consonant like this, we. It helps to bring the voice forward into a resonant place and we continue with the forward e vowel. This exercise starts on D5 here on the piano, and we move down and stop at A sharp four. My students sing this exercise with a finger on each corner of their mouths. This helps them keep the mouth shape consistent as they change the vowel. Give it a try. exercise will sound familiar if you watched the accessing head voice video. In this version, we sing a repeated pitch on the syllables ni, ne, na, no, nu, then move downward. The N consonant is another useful tool to move your vocal resonance forward, and the exercise also begins with the E vowel, so it sets the voice up into a resonant place. We start on A4, which is here on the piano, and move up to D5, here. The physical movement for this exercise is a spinning finger in front of the eyebrows, starting with a small circle that enlarges with each circle and with each vowel, and ends with a movement outward, like you are pulling a piece of spaghetti out of your forehead. This movement helps us visualize the forward placement of each vowel.
be singing the nonsense word zingamama repeatedly as we move down in pitch. The exercise ends by jumping up to the starting pitch, then back down. Z is another consonant that resonates in the front of the face and helps us find forward resonance. The exercise begins on B4 here on the piano, then goes upward to D5. The physical movements that you will see in this video were developed by my students, and I believe that the decisive movements on the beats help us emphasize the Z consonant and reinforce the resonant placement we are working toward. exercise uses the syllables ni ya. We are using the N consonant and the E vowel again to create good forward resonance. You will see that the movements for this exercise have a bouncy quality to them, like the vocal exercise. Your thumbs should be coming forward off your cheekbones, reinforcing our forward resonance. We start at A4, which is here on the piano and move upward to D5. exercise has a double effect of encouraging resonance and also reinforcing the space inside the mouth when we raise our soft palates. It starts with the syllable hung and opens to ah. When we create that ng sound, the tongue presses against the roof of the mouth. When it then opens to ah, the soft palate naturally raises, creating space. We start this exercise on A sharp 4 and move up to D5. My students added the motion of the circle by the head with the falling arm at the end to match the movement of this exercise. watching this video, which focused on accessing and maintaining resonance. Remember that you should always use these videos in addition to, not instead of, guidance from your choral director or voice teacher. Click here to go to the next video, Expanding the Vocal Range.